Some days you can hit haul over inlet up and go out there and have a great time with the crew. This does not appear to be one of those days. Welcome back guys, it is your host Broncos Guru in collaboration with our boy Wavy Boats and it's Boats versus Haul Over where man and machine take on Mother Nature down at Haul Over Inlet in Miami, Florida. And if this is any indication, it looks like we're in for a rough ride today. So let's go ahead and get this contest started. Our first contestant to do battle with Haul Over Inlet is going to have a kind of start we would expect. That's right, a rough start. Here we're going to see Haul Over's firing pretty hard today and this Rambalo is getting absolutely rocked. And this really is one of those really tough situations. Here I would usually tell this vessel they need to power up and try and get close to being on plane. But for whatever reason, the wake and waves are so tight right here, it's nearly going to be impossible for this boat to do that. Which really leaves these guys in a tough spot. All they can do at this point is try and keep the bow up, hope they don't stuff into another wave, and do anything they can to try and get out of this inlet. Because right now they are taking an absolute thrashing. Hallover Inlet's easily going to take the win in this first round. I really actually am quite surprised we didn't see the patented Hallover U-turn in this situation. Our second contestant to do battle with Hallover Inlet today is going to come through on a boat with a shallow freeboard. Now typically on a calm day that's not too bad, but on a day like today this is definitely not something I would recommend. But I'll tell you what, this boat actually doesn't look that bad right out of the gate. We already know the captain knows a little bit about what he's doing in Hallover because he is hugging the north side of the jetty, which is typically the calmer side of the inlet. And this crew is just kind of taking their time coming out because they know there's no way that they can actually power through. This vessel is just not designed to do that. But the plan they've taken so far seems to have worked pretty well. They've gotten through the worst part of the trough of Hallover and are already working their way toward the outside where things obviously if you can tell in the background are going to calm down quite a bit. I'm really torn on this one but you know what even with that last smack there I'm going to go ahead and give this round to the boats because this boat shouldn't have even been in the ring with Hallover today and it seemed to do okay. Speaking of doing just okay, here in the third round, we're going to see about as good as it gets on a day like today. I've got to go a little easy on the boats on a day when Hallover's firing this hard. We're not going to see any supreme action out here. We're going to see a bunch of people just trying to make it through the inlet as safely as they possibly can. And here we're going to see this fountain coming through the inlet. Normally, we'd love to see this boat come plowing through at high speeds, but to be honest, today, it's just too rough and nobody's doing that. And this fountain basically is handling Hallover about as good as anybody's going to handle it on a day like today. And I'm going to go ahead and give this round to the boats as well. Now just because I say we shouldn't see people trying to power their way through haul over on a day like today, we're going to see that guy who comes out and tries to do it anyway, kind of like this Sea Hunt does right here. This Sea Hunt Gamefish 30 is rolling through haul over inlet probably a little bit too fast for the types of conditions we're seeing down here at haul over today, but that's no big deal to haul over. Haul over's got built-in speed bumps. If it doesn't like the pace you're going at, I promise you it will slow you down every single time. Kind of like these gentlemen here. Notice they came barreling through the inlet. They're going to hit this wave right here, and all of a sudden we're back down to an idle pace. And this round right here will actually go to Hallover Inlet. Due to the fact these guys thought they were going to flex on Hallover, but in the end, Hallover slowed them down. And that'll take us into our fifth and final round, tied it to a piece. Who will take the win this week? Will it be the boats or Hallover Inlet? And here we're going to see a close call. Typically, if somebody stuffs the bow, I'm going to give that boat the loss, and that is about as close as we can get to a bow stuffing with the boat actually not doing it. Fortunately for this vessel, they're going to pull out of it clean, and they'll pull out of the rest of this run clean as well, and they're going to go ahead and take a win for the boats, and that's going to give the boats the win in this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, be sure to check out our other channels. We have Wavy Boats, who gets us all this great content down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos over there as well. And also our newest channel, the Miami Boat Ramps channel, that focuses on all the hilarious stuff that happens on the boat ramps in South Florida. And if you haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.